New Mexico Department of Health says 26 people who have tested positive for COVID-19 have now recovered. It's a question a lot of you have been asking. Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans tells us what that means and what a new study says about the future of the disease here in our state. We asked the health department how they determine if someone has recovered. They say it's actually based on criteria by the CDC and it can vary from patient to patient. They say, quote, there are a number of variables to take into consideration for each COVID-19 patient, including time, symptoms and test results. Our health expert, Dr. Barry Ramos, says these people are building up antibodies to the disease. Now, people who have tested positive and then test negative, the implication is that they are cured. There really has not been any good data to suggest that you can get reinfected once you were infected the first time. But again, it's early days and we don't know for sure. Now we do know that the number of cases in New Mexico has gone from zero to 237 in less than three weeks with two deaths. That still makes New Mexico one of the states where the virus has spread the least. Compare that to New York, which now has roughly 60,000 cases and nearly 1,000 deaths. The nation's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says the latest model shows U.S. deaths could end up totaling 100 to 200,000. A new study by the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation at the University of Washington well, it went even further, predicting the number of deaths by state. By August 4th, the study projects more than 500 people in New Mexico will die from COVID-19. As bad as that number looks, once again, it pales in comparison to New York, where the study estimates more than 10,000 dead by August 4th. Dr. Ramo offered this tip for people who have been or plan to be tested. I think those people who are getting tested should consider themselves, if they're sick and they're doing it for the right reason, should consider themselves infected until they get their virus test back. Even with the stay at home order and essential businesses being closed, Dr. Ramos says with more people getting tested, the more positive cases of COVID-19 we're going to see. Reporting in Albuquerque, Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News. And the State Department of Health says more than 11,000 people in New Mexico have been tested for COVID-19.